to arms, gophers! Welcome to the show where we watch a man's sanity gradually erode to the point where his only reality is C++. If you're wondering who that man is, that's me. Recently, the programming language Rust has been gaining a lot of popularity. Some are even going as far to say it's better than C++. Oh, it's true. It's true. There are those that are far enough out there to really believe that. In fact, they live among us, gradually growing in power and strength ready to attack and take C++ by the- oh, Wait, this isn't Python, this is Rust we're talking about. Rust is a programming language very similar to C++. In fact, a lot of the syntax is really the same. I've taken the liberty of preparing yet another wonderful, completely objective and unbiased data sheet. The first thing we see is there's a lot of pros for C++ and not a lot of cons, and with Rust, it's kind of mixed. So, as I said before, completely unbiased and objective. Let's kick this off with the first pro for C++, and that's that it's the best programming language on Earth. It's a fact, there's no edging your way around it, it's just the best. You see, it's the best because it's C++, therefore it's the best. It's kind of circular logic, but oh well. Rust, on the other hand, well, it's not C++, and that in itself makes me really wonder, is Rust even a programming language? Next point, C++ has an excellent ecosystem, and what I mean by that is the libraries and the community around C++. You have a very diverse selection when it comes to libraries for C++, and that is because it's a tried and true language. It's been around for 35 plus years, and for most of those 35 years, it's been a popular language, which means that it's accumulated a lot of support for it and a lot of libraries libraries to it as well. C++, you can do AAA games, you can program robotics, create operating systems, you can do web development. There's C++ libraries for that, that allow you to compile C++ into WebAssembly. Rust, on the other hand, has a somewhat limited ecosystem, and that's due to it being a relatively new language. It's been around for 10 years, not 12. That's not to say that there's no libraries out there for Rust, but it does have a limited ecosystem, as it just hasn't been around as long. In a couple years, I could see that balancing out to where Rust and C++ would be about equal for the amount of libraries that they have. A pro for Rust is it has excellent safety features, such as thread safety, which essentially just prevents data races, which is what happens when you have two threads trying to access the same data, and that can rapidly spiral out of control. So a lot of good safety features in Rust. That brings us to the first and the only con of C++. Due to the raw power that C++ hands you, it allows the programmer to shoot themselves in the foot. The lenient rules of C++ allow to have a high amount of flexibility and versatility, but that can often result in programmers shooting themselves in the foot. Rust, on the other hand, takes a more hold-your-hand approach. It enforces strict rules that prevent such occurrences from happening. An example of this is that Rust doesn't allow for dangling or null pointers. It achieves this by enforcing a very strict ownership policy that only one variable or pointer can own a set of data at a time. This is accomplishable with C++ as well, it's just you're gonna have to do that a bit more manually with something like smart pointers or a unique pointer. You can achieve the same things in Rust with C++, it's just you have the choice not to as well. Rust forces you to do so, which you could say improves the safety, but does it really? It does, but it also reduces the amount of control that the programmer has. And in life, when someone's holding your hand, usually their other hand is, you guessed it, in your pocket, fishing your wallet out to take a quick 20 out of it. Rust has a trade-off of less control to the programmer in exchange for higher safety standards. C++, super fast faster than Rust. I'm going to say it right now, C++ is faster than Rust. You'll get some people who will say Rust is faster. No, C++. I'll link this article down below, and it's just a list of different benchmarks made for C++ vs Rust. At first glance, you'll say, hey Marty, um, no, Rust is faster. Like, come on. But yeah, for Pi digits, it did perform faster, which these are just tests to the CPU that it's designed to stress the CPU out. For in body as well, Rust did outperform C++. But as we go down further, we'll see for that like Mandelbrot and binary trees, C++ outperformed Rust. In some cases, even using less CPU load than Rust, or in other cases, using more CPU load for Rust. So it's somewhat a mixed bag. But due to C++ just being so good, 
I'm going to say C++ is faster. In terms of performance, they're virtually the same. Sometimes it'll be faster with Rust, sometimes it will be faster with C++. As a general, I'd say C++ is faster though, mainly because I have a bias to uphold here. So why is it that Rust and C++ are so fast? That is because they are compiled programming languages rather than interpreted. The long and the short of it is that C++ and Rust compile into machine code and then they are run rather than compiling into machine code as you're running it, which makes no sense if you ask me. C++ has a high amount of flexibility and that's due to its excellent ecosystem. It has a ton of different libraries out there. Rust, you can do a lot with it, but less than C++ and that's just due to it having less libraries because it is a newer language. When you're speaking in terms of the game industry, C++ is definitely a better option than Rust as it has a lot more tools and utilities out there, such as Unreal Engine, Unity, and such. Now there are some new up and coming game engines that support Rust, but like I said, they're up and coming. They're not quite as well established as C++ has been within Unreal and Unity. If you're going to make games, you want to go with C++. A pro for Rust is that coding mistakes usually result in compilation errors instead of runtime errors. This results in a lot less undefined behavior, which is a lot easier to track down. Long story short, easier to work with for debugging. A con for Rust is the let keyword. Ugh. I know there's going to be a lot of people who love the let keyword, but I can't stand it. Here's a very small program both in C++ in the top here, C++, and then down below in Rust. In C++, you simply say the data type, so in this case it's a float. Give that variable a name, and then set the variable equal to what you want to. Or you don't even have to, you can just go float number like so. Rust, on the other hand, you have this let keyword in there, which why? If we count the characters, uh, we'll notice we got 22 characters for C++. How many characters do we got for Rust? 25 characters, that's three characters. Are they out of their minds? Three characters, huh. We're starting to drift into the realm of opinion, but I personally think the let keyword is absolutely useless, does nothing at all, it makes no sense to have it at all. If we just take the let keyword out, whoa, it's, we still understand what's happening here, it's just we don't have to look at a, a bunch of let keywords. So why on earth do we have this let keyword in Rust? Well, the let keyword let's us do a little something called variable shadowing which i think is just one of the worst ideas i've heard in my life now you got this number big number it's a float you set it to five okay pretty simple now if you don't want big number to equal five anymore well you can't just go big number equals five nope that or equals six nope that won't compile what you got to do is you got to go let the big number equal six. But that doesn't actually set the big number equal to six. That just creates a new variable with the name big number. So you've got two variables with the same name. C++ and Rust are already in a fairly difficult tier of programming languages. And something like having variables with the same name just makes, that's, that's ridiculous, makes no sense. Now pro of Rust is that it has memory safety without garbage collection, which garbage collection really slows down most languages that implement it. That kind of ties back in with it doesn't allow dangling pointers and such it has a lot of set in stone rules that you cannot bend you can't bend them to your advantage but you can't also accidentally bend them to your disadvantage whereas we could do that with c++ c++ is an in-demand programming language for job opportunities it looks really good on your resume to have c++ on there. rust not so much although it is gaining popularity and there are now a lot more employers who do want to see some sort of rust skills on your resume but not as extensive as it is with c++ it looks a lot better to have c++ on your resume than what to have rust on your resume. I could see that changing in the future and rust becoming more popular, but for now C++ takes the win there. Now the really big thing and the most important thing is C++ has the plus plus in the name. You see what most people don't know is that the plus plus makes C++ two times better than any language by default. So as a starting ground, C++ is up here and Rust is down here. It's got a lot of legwork to do to get up to the even just to be equal to C++. Rust, I mean, it's a lame name. Like look at the avatar I had to make for Rust. It's a dude with rusty armor. Why does he have rusty armor? Because his name is Rust. Lame name, not even a plus in it. C++, instant respect. You say to your friends, hey, I know C++. They know you're not a man to be trifled with. Rust, 
Oh, you couldn't learn C++? That's what they're gonna say when you tell them that you know Rust. C++, it's tried and true, been around for 35 years, which it's matured a lot in that time span, and it's got a ton of libraries under its belt, and a lot of community support, whereas Rust, relatively new, been around for about 10 years. Rust still has a devoted community with it, but just smaller than C++. So in conclusion, as a brief overview, C++ is better than Rust, and that's just because C++ is the best programming language on Earth. Both are fine languages, and I'd recommend learning both is Rust a terrible threat to C++? Nah. See, they're both compiled languages. We mustn't waste our resources fighting the compiled languages when there's the interpreted ones out there like Python and Lua. Oof. There will be a video coming out on Lua very soon because, would you believe it, there's a programming language worse than Python out there. Now, a lot of this is my opinion. You're welcome to have your own opinion, and I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. Code like gophers, and I will see you in the next video. And now, a brief word from our sponsor. McVanbuck. If you've ever considered living in the country, be sure to read McVanbuck, The Ultimate Guide How to Not Live in the Country First. McVanbuck Call of the Lighter details the intricacies of modern country living and is the best redneck book you'll ever read. You won't regret buying it, so get McVanbuck Call of the Lighter today on Amazon using the link in the description.